Check one, two, two, one, two. And now, where indie music comes alive. Broadcasting live worldwide, plus on demand 24 7, and hosted by Hall of Fame personality Dave Pratt. N9 the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Breaking the sound barrier with your Top 10 Weekly from worldmusicstage.com. And now, house lights down. Music up. Now entering the World Music Stage. Your host for the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Dave Pratt. Fired up this week. I got a big one this week, man. Three interviews on this top 10 countdown. Welcome to the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. We are all about indie music. We are all about the up and coming artists that make the music, and yeah, we are all about the fans that support indie artists and indie music. From the internet to social media, we are bringing exciting musical talent from all around the world. Yep, we bring great indie music straight to your playlist with a download that directly supports the artist. Again, go to worldmusicstage.com, worldmusicstage.com. We count down the top 10 every Saturday, and then, of course, the show will be on demand worldwide all week. Listen at a time that's convenient for you. So, how do we select the top songs? Well, to select the top songs weekly for the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, we use stats from worldmusicstage.com. That's why you need to go to worldmusicstage.com throughout the week to, to make sure that you support your favorite artists. Because we count up everything from the number of plays to the activity for an artist. Your fan support is huge. That's how we come up with the top 10 every week. The more the artists and their fans are active on World Music Stage, the more the artist gets known. And in turn, the top 10 songs weekly are presented worldwide right here on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. So let's get started with number 10. World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Song number 10. Sarah Mason is a singer, songwriter, and a musician from England. She's been writing and producing her own music for years. She comes from a musical family. Her dad was in bands around England since the 1960s, and this is pretty much where she got her ambition, her drive, and her love for music from dad. At the age of only eight years old, Sarah started playing the keyboard and violin. She loves to make all different kinds of music, and her favorite is dance, rock, and pop. Sarah's music and lyrics are based on true life events. You're going to see it right here. You'll hear it at number 10 on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Kicking us off this week from jolly old England, Sarah Mason with Ecstasy.
try to listen to that one without dancing. Absolutely impossible. I had my Greg Brady white man overbite going on. All right. All right, let's move on to number nine. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number nine. I like this. This guy's my buddy. And no, I don't have anything to do with selecting the top 10. No favoritism. I am simply your host with the most. But yes, I do know this guy, and he's phenomenal. After 30 years on the scene, Walt Richardson is truly an Arizona music icon in every way. In fact, on his 60th birthday, you know what they did for Walt? This is kind of cool. Tempe, Arizona, that's where Arizona State University is located, and it's a music hotbed. If you've ever been to the Valley of the Sun, if you've ever been to Arizona, you know that College Town Tempe is a music hotbed. Right? It's where the gin blossoms came out of as well. Well, anyway, on Walt Richardson's 60th birthday, Tempe, Arizona declared it Walt Richardson Day, and he was inducted into Arizona's Music and Entertainment Hall of Fame. Walt also hosts stage shows, TV shows, radio shows, and you know why he does this? To promote and welcome singer-songwriters. If he isn't making music, Walt's spreading the word or encouraging other artists. And here's the good news. Walt's announced that for the first time since 1997, almost 20 years, he is back in the studio. Lucky us. At number nine on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Arizona's Hall of Fame favorite son, Walt Richardson and Day of Your Wings. On the day of your wings, in the heart of your changes, you'll fly new horizons, be a sage among sages. On the day of your way On the day of your way In the heart of your changes you fly to horizons Be a sage among sages And those who have haunted and try to take flight from you Lose all that they wanted they Eventually fade from you On the day of your wings You know the light is calling us Another place You know the light Is calling us back Calling us back home The wind is in our face On the day of your wings Maybe tonight You're gonna reach in time Find your wings Take off to the sky My friend tonight Maybe tonight You're gonna reach inside Inside, wait for a good one to come along. Spread your wings and take off to the sky. You know the light is calling us back. Place. You know the light 
Arizona's indie music icon, my friend Walt Richardson, and Day of Your Wings. So let's go up to Canada. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number eight. From Hudson, Quebec, Canada. Happenstance. Happenstance brings the power of heart and the versatility of Fleetwood Mac. They walk the line between pop, country, and rock. Sometimes a a bit tongue-in-cheek, but always with a strong underlying message. They form a crossover custom Canadian style that's hard to pin down, but hard to resist. Their new EP takes the band to new heights of emotion with both ballads and rockers. Happenstance combines straightforward songs with catchy hooks and powerhouse vocals. At number eight on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, representing the Canucks this week, Happenstance off Rain with Gone Baby Gone. Every lady from Canada through the U.S. is cheering right now. They're pumping their fist in the air going, yeah, baby, you tell them. That's number eight on the countdown, Happenstance Off Rain with Gone Baby Gone. World Music Stage Radio. Top ten countdown. Song number seven. So from our nation's capital comes 9-7. And no, we didn't plan that at number seven is 9-7. I know it's cute. We're not that clever. Yeah, from our nation's capital, 9-7 with a musical male fusion of both rap and R&B that combines into one original sound. 9-7 is currently working on their new project entitled Summer Rain, which is due for release in late summer along with a tour. And I'm going to let them tell you more about it because on the Music World Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown Hotline, 9-7. Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Hello. Where do I have you calling from this morning? Are you in D.C.? Yeah, we call from Nation's Capital. Yeah, nice and humid back there right now? 
Yeah. <laughs> I bet. We're different here in Arizona. It's it's a flat heat, but it's 115. But I know it's soupy back there, right? Love it. Mm. Yeah. Wow. That's <laughs> hot. It sounds like it, it sounds like you have the whole band there. Is that right? Something like that. <laughs> it, it, it's a uh, it's it's actually five of us. Talk about nine seven and fusing rap and R and B. Okay. I mean, pretty much we're all different types of styles just pulled in together. You got fast rap, you know, we got conscious rap, we got a little bit of singing from um, two different singers. So pretty much it's just a melting pot of different styles coming together to make one beautiful style. Yeah, but you guys also have some shoulder music, you know, some R&B. Uh, you hear that coming in quite a bit. Is that coming from all of your influences or, or whoever writes the songs for you guys? I mean, pretty much. Well, this is actually, this is Brian Anthony talking from 9-7. I'm a singer, and usually I do more of the soulful thing. Um, because we got another singer named Fawn. He actually does a lot of the R&B situations, stuff like that. And um, then you got the rappers, and which is, like I said, just making that good sound that that's going to get to everybody that we need for diversity. Tell us about your new project, Summer Rain. Uh, right now, our project right now, this is uh, Prince Ryan you're talking to, but pretty much um, our project, we, we had a lot of like the slow, dramatic R&B at one point that we were mixing with rap, but we just wanted to come with something that was more lively and, you know, more party oriented with our new material. So our new material is more on like the lively side. To promote the release of Summer Rain, you guys are going to be doing a tour. What parts of the country? Right now, uh, right now we've seen um, Boston and Houston right now. Is some of the main parts right now that we're looking at. Guys, if you wait until after September, Arizona's really nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll travel there. Yeah, that's, that's when we're going to travel there. <laughs> you made our countdown this week with Ride With Me. Tell us about this song. Uh, Ride With Me. Mm, it's kind of a kind of a fun, kind of more like a fun, playful R&B hip-hop song pretty much something good for the summertime at number seven on the world music stage radio top 10 countdown from the nation's capital nine seven off 90s babies and ride with me
that tin door, silver surface slim, let's ride. I got the hat, burn low, and you can't see my eyes. Surprise, be the element that you are used to. Check out my stats, baby, all over YouTube. Yeah, I'm kinda known with a little bit more swag than you used to. Spectacular, huh? I see why the guys do shit. Now you wear my ride, stuck to my ear like a Bluetooth. You telling me all the freaky things that you will do. So go get up on it so I can thrill you. Plus I'm fresh, never mildew. You should always ride this trilogy. Plus, baby girl, I really feel you. From this day, I want to continue to explore. Babe, you seem to be much more Ride, Shall it go? ride with me, with me I know you wanna ride with me I know you wanna ride She said she wanna ride with me She said she wanna ride with me And this ain't nothing new to me I can take you to ecstasy If it's such a fine body right next to me And you ain't gotta have no sex with me Just have a little intellect with me I can see me and you together As long as you ain't stressing me And stressing me Cause I know how to treat it Give it to me guaranteed I'm a beat it Girl, your love I need it Just ride with me girl Charlie wanna ride by my side, you can get it I'm trying to take you from your man, girl, is you with it? Forget him, forgot him, he already lost You want me, you got me, come and ride with a star Ride with a star Show him how we got, show him how we All right, so 9-7, and we had at least five of them on the phone there from our nation's capital of Washington, D.C., uh, 9-7, and what a good tune that is off 90s Babies and Ride With Me. Moving on. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number six. Salt Lake City. The crew have been collectively together for three years. They've done two studio albums, including the award-winning Long Way Home, led by singer-songwriter Johnny K. The crew delivers a powerful, fun, upbeat live music experience that, well, it has you singing along with favorite rock hits and original music as well that's won multi-awards and has been featured on Fox Sports. How cool is that? They perform for Uproar Rock Festival, which is a big one. First annual SLC Comic-Con. You guys ever been to Comic-Con? Yeah, they performed at the one in Salt Lake City. Sundance 2012 through 2015. And they've opened for American Hitmen from America's Got Talent. And more private corporate gigs, including the HP Tent Party. They've been busy. Members of the crew have played with the Steve Miller Band, Collective Soul, Kenny Chesney. Well-versed, aren't they? They played with No Doubt and more. At number six on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, the crew off Long Way Home. And what are you waiting for?
So tell me, would that band be fun at a festival? Can't you just, I mean, envision them playing an uproar? That is a party band right there. All right, moving on in the countdown number five. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 countdown. Song number five. All right, trivia question for you. What does K-A-B, the initials K-A-B stand for? You want a hint? They are a kick-ass band. There's your trivia. What does K-A-B stand for? Do you have it yet? (laughs) If not, I want some of what you're having. I gave it to you. Kick-ass band. That's what it is. K-A-B. America's kick-ass band is an American rock band out of Phoenix, Arizona, that formed four years ago. And while KAB has a lineup of veteran musicians with a variety of influences, their sound has been honed into a distinctly traditional rock and rock and billy rock. It's all together. You know what they call it? (laughs) Rock-a-bully. Great. That's what they call it. They mix it all together. Traditional rock, rock rock-a-billy, rock-a-bully. Yeah, rock-a-bully. I don't know if that's their own, but they should use that. Edgy rock with a twang. KAB's music is kick-ass. Aggressive, guitar-driven, rockabilly, rockabully. On the Music World Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown Hotline from KAB, Mark Moffat. Hey, Mark, how you doing? I'm doing good, Dave. How are you doing? Good. Rockabully, is that fair? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fair. Did, pretty you guys fair. Co- did you guys come up with that? It, it, well, it was said at one of our gigs, and it kind of stuck, you know. And it, it's it just kind of defines uh, the, the the loudness of the guitars, uh, you know, the sort of the aggressive attitude of the guitars, and and then the rockabilly beat that a lot of the songs have. So it's pretty fitting. Yeah, not many bands can claim influences from. You know, Hank Williams Sr. and Johnny Cash to the Ramones and, and Social Distortion. Talk about developing your style. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, you know, when, when you've been uh, playing music for a long time, you get a lot of influences. <laughs> you know, you have a better radio voice than I do. I'm glad that you chose music. <laughs> well, you know, I, I like your gig, too, though. You've been doing a great job. I got I to gotta give you a shout-out. One of our, our bass players, John. He wears a Squirt Me Baby t-shirt. Oh, so. <laughs> no! All right, for those of you worldwide, that's uh, part of my radio show that I've hosted forever here in Phoenix, Arizona. Are all you guys from Phoenix? Uh, yeah, we are. 
Yeah, it, 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 well, Scott, the, the other guitar player, yeah, actually lives out in Chandler, but you know, metropolitan scene. All right, and you grew up here, correct? It, yeah. Well, I uh, spent time in Texas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where did you go to high school? Where did you guys go to high school at in Phoenix? Deer, Deer Valley. Oh, okay. The Skyhawks. Go, baby. Skyhawks. Yeah. <laughs> hey, off your album, Genuine, uh-huh. you make our countdown this week with Tell Me Why. Talk about both your album and about this song. Yeah. Um, well, the, the EP is uh, it's just kind of the first five songs that we finished. We're working on a full-length record come out in the fall. But we thought, let's let's get the first five songs out and, and uh, you know, let, let the fans get to hear it. First and uh, and tell me why is is a uh, kind of a it's a it's a it's a prayer so to speak you know uh, I went through some tough times uh, in the last couple of years my wife did health problems and just kind of asking that question that we ask a lot of times when things are tough you know, why is this happening. Well, our very best to your wife, and let your band know that that collector shirt from the early day Pratt shows, uh, it's now up to 25 cents. So, (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's worth a lot more than that. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate everything World Music Stage is doing as well. At number five on the World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown, KAB, Kick-Ass Band, off the album Genuine with Tell Me Why. Tell me why Pain is for certain And love so unsure Tell me why Tell me why Tell me why Those guys are from Phoenix. I like that. All right, number four. World Music Stage Radio. 
Top 10 Countdown, song number four. Woo, well, I'll tell you, sitting in Arizona today in 115 degrees, just saying the word Iceland sounds cool. Ah, Iceland, Iceland, Iceland. And Iceland is the home of Jonina. Jonina was raised amidst these sweeping hills and black sands of Iceland where she developed her strong folk rock sound. She studied music in Iceland, Denmark, and Los Angeles where she produced her first five-song EP. She loves to work on her own stuff as well as collaborate with other artists. Jonina is a world traveler currently living again in Iceland where she spends her days singing and writing songs. At number four on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown from Iceland, 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 Jonina, I Need a Man. Pride of Iceland and Jonina. We are in the top three. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 countdown. Song number three. All right. So you mix a little Maxwell, 
with a little Marvin Gaye and Al Green. Yeah, you got that in the blender going with, oh, how about some Whitney Houston for some spice in there? And let's throw in some smooth Lou Rawls. Remember Lou Rawls? You'll never find. Okay, I won't do it. I just love Lou Rawls. Let's throw in some new school stuff like Usher and Kim and Eric Benet. And guess what? You have Cecil Parker. A wealth of singing, songwriting, and performing talent all wrapped into one and about to blow up, and you'll hear why. This summer, Cecil is turning up the heat once again with his newly released and much-anticipated full-length CD entitled If I Sing. From the streets of Philly, hey, Philly, to a sports scholarship at a major university to headlining at the Rio in Las Vegas. You guys go to Vegas? Oh, yeah. He's he's headlined at the Rio. How about the Sands? Tropicana? Let's go to the Atlantic side. The Trump Taj Mahal. Harris in New Zealand. In the NBA. You know, he's from Philly. Performed at 76ers games. And even celebrity and carnival cruises in Europe and Asia. I want his life. <laughs> he's having a good time. Cecil is primed for a major breakout at number three on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Cecil Parker with I Need a Lover.
time for a major breakout with I Need a Lover, and that takes us to the top two. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number two. So in 1967, John Batdorf made the drive from his hometown of Eagle Crest, Oregon, to the big city lights of Los Angeles. Imagine that. It's a culture shock, isn't it? (laughs) Everything he owned was crammed into a Lincoln Continental with six of his friends, too. Uh, He was going to L.A. to pursue his musical aspirations. Four decades later. The dream machine is long gone, but John is still on his path, navigating the curves of his musical journey. Along the way, John's gotten to work with many of the cornerstone figures of the music business as an artist. He earned cult status as a classic folk rock singer-songwriter and reinvented himself as a successful film and TV composer, session vocalist, and inspirational musician in the substance recovery community. At number two on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, John Batdorf with What Do You Got? My girl is that the worst is coming How can we live on next to nothing? She's busy stretching out every dollar So no more gourmet coffee or bottled water And I'm telling her what do you got when the well runs dry What do you got when you can't get by What do you got when the mortgage rises unaccountably Oh, what do you got when the cupboard's bare What do you got in the frigid air What do you got when there's no My kids focus too much on pleasure They think that's sitting on a buried treasure Well, I got a message that might surprise them When their old man can't subsidize them And I'm telling them, what do you got when the checks all bounce? What do you got? You know, that, that's what I love about folk music. And he brings it around so well, John Batdorf. He's talking about, 
you know, in that song, you know, you're, you're together for a long period of time. And after a while, all the cosmetic stuff, all the looks and the money in the world and all the, you know, the possessions, the material things in life don't matter because at the end, what do you have? Well, what do you got? You got me. I, that's a terrific tune. All right. That brings us to number one. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number one. So for the top spot on the countdown this week, we go to New Zealand. Sarah Spicer spent her early adult years living in San Francisco where she worked in the music industry, honing her skills as a singer, songwriter, live performer, and a recording artist. And let me tell you, San Francisco is not an easy place to cut your teeth. Whoa! How many superstars have come out of San Francisco? It is a cultural heaven, but tough to break through. Sarah's vocals and songs have been used in film and fitness class DVDs and Olympics motivational music CD. What was that? Commercials, TV shows. Yeah, Sarah's done quite a bit. Her self-released debut album, Colors, was released four years ago, and she's open for Michael Bolton. Sarah is working on her next album now, and she's with us on the Countdown Hotline. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Uh, we have you from New Zealand, huh? Yeah, I've been I've been listening and, and waiting. And the funny thing is, is my my sheep in my paddock just escaped, and I had to put it back in. It's very naughty. <laughs> well, I just like the way you say naughty. Can you do that again? Yeah. <laughs> it's very naughty, <laughs> naughty sheep. <laughs> you know, this is the the beauty of the world music uh, stage is that the internet's made the world really small, and it's really brought music together. Talk about your time in San Francisco, because I was mentioning that's a, a tough market to cut your teeth in. Yeah, it's amazing how the internet's changed, and and I can sit here and talk to you over there in Arizona. That's where you're you're in Arizona, aren't you? Yeah, we're in in beautiful 115 degree Phoenix, Arizona. Wow, beautiful! I was there recently, and uh, I loved it. We passed through there, and it's pretty cold in New Zealand today because we're coming into winter. But um, San Francisco, we we went there as well. I went on a seven week tour recently, and um. So I lived there for about nine years and um, I was singing in blues clubs and, you know, I was doing karaoke, DJing, I was doing whatever I could to um, to survive because I was quite young. Um, and I met uh, John Lee Hooker in, in a blues club when I was singing there and, and was playing with his band. And um, I ended up striking up a friendship with him and um, we recorded a few songs and, you know, I've just kept singing and, and just kept honing my skills um, creatively, writing music, and it runs in the family. So I was really lucky to have that opportunity that my father gave me that when I was uh, 16 years old. So there you were, a young Sarah Spicer in San Francisco, and yeah. you meet you meet a legend. You meet the iconic John Lee Hooker, who was kind enough to share with you. What advice did he give you at that time, Sarah? Well... I mean, I, I actually didn't, coming from New Zealand and I wasn't really exposed to the blues um, then and I didn't really know who he was. And he came up to me and, and said, oh, girl, you sure can sing. What's what's your name? And I said, my name's Sarah. And he, and he said, sassy. I'm going to call you sassy. And, um, you know, I was like, oh, who, you know, who are you? And my friend with my flute player was going, that's John Lee Hooker. Don't you know who that is? I'm like, well, how's it going? And we just kind of had a bit of a chat. And I was with a manager at the time. He was taking 50% of my income. <laughs> and um, I said, well, you might be able to help me with this with this issue that I'm having. Um, this person's taking all my money. And he said, well, you know, he can't do that. So, look, here's my number. And give me your number and, and come and see me and, and talk to talk to me and I've got some good advice for you. And, and you know, he rang me the next day and I and said, can you come over and see me? And I, I said, sure. So I drove over there and we just, we just, I just sit on the couch with him and, and talk about music and play him some of my, my songs. And, and we were just kind of friends and, you know, I'd, I'd take him, drive him to the, to the uh, Burger King down the road and get a coffee or, wow. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just it was quite it was quite cool. Um, I was really really lucky to have that and me meeting all his family and some of his musician friends. Like he's got so many. Um, I just was thrown into this amazing kind of world. You know what, Sarah? So many people, you know, just admire and love and endear John Lee Hooker. He probably found it refreshing 
that this young up and comer didn't know who he was. He probably found yeah. that refreshing because very seldom would he come across that. Yeah, I mean, I, I really didn't even see myself as a professional singer. I was so young, and I just, I just saw him as a, as a beautiful person. He had amazing energy, and um, you know, he was funny. And <laughs> and then you, you go back to New Zealand. Did, was that always in your game plan, Sarah? Or did you just miss it? Um. San Francisco was was hard, and, and I love New Zealand. And you know, I, I was getting to the age where I wanted to probably have children, and and I, I wanted to get a bit of an education, and so I stepped away from music for a little while. But I always kept the friendship with John going, and he'd ring me probably once once a month, and um, he actually shouted me back to New Zealand. When I say shouted, he paid for my air, airfare tickets to go back. And one of the times I went back, or well, the last time I saw him, I went back and we recorded a song together. And I came back to New Zealand, um, and he rang me and said, "Look, I want to put that song on my next album." And um, I said, "Great, okay." And I was pregnant at the time, but he flew me back over. But the the, the day the tickets arrived in the mail was the day that he died. Oh. Um, so I ended up going over to his funeral, and it was really, really, really upsetting. And uh, you know, I have this recording with him, and it's one of the last songs he recorded before he passed away. Um, and that's that's going to be released uh, pretty soon. It's, it's been a long time. It's been 11, 11 years or 12, 13 years, I think. Um, so I haven't really known what to do with it. It's too close to my heart because we were really good friends. Well, you were both yeah. blessed with a wonderful friendship. Recording new stuff now. Tell us about your new album. Uh, new album, Shiva. I recorded that in New Zealand with a new producer, Um that is rearing to go, and the part of my trip over to America was to to find the right record labels and um, pr promotion companies that would want to help me and get on board because um, there's a big back catalogue of music that I've got. Um, and, you know, going to Arizona and Nashville, which I loved, um, that country scene is, is right up my alley, and a lot of my music is, is quite country, uh, country blues, and um, I bumped into – a guy called Stephen Wrench from Music and Film Records and we've formed an amazing friendship and he's helping me release my music bit by bit. So uh, watch this space, <laughs> that's for sure. It's um, it's all happening really, really quickly, although it's taken a long time to get where it is, I have to say. Well, you are number one on our countdown this week with your song, Understand My Love. Tell us about this song, Sarah. Um. It's really it was written about being misunderstood and uh, communication breakdowns that we have with each other and our and our partners and um, you know when you when you really want to tell someone something and they they don't quite understand you and um, love is is pretty broad for me and when people don't understand you for who you are then you know I had to kind of write about it because it's it's kind of a it comes from a sad place but. Um, I tried to make it upbeat and happy. <laughs> At number one on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, New Zealand's Sarah Spicer with Understand My Love. He don't understand my, understand 
What a talent. Sarah Spicer at number one. And there they are, this week's top ten in the World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown, heard every week right here on Star Worldwide Networks. And just like Sarah Spicer, listening in New Zealand, you can listen to this anywhere in the world because it is worldmusicstage.com. I want to remind you to download the songs from your favorite artists. That's how you support your artists. So throughout the week, go to worldmusicstage.com and download your favorite songs. You love that Sarah Spicer tune? You love the Sarah Mesa tune? You love the 9-7 tune, right? Yeah, you love Happenstance. Whatever song you heard on the countdown today and you love it, go to worldmusicstage.com and download your favorites because the more artist activity gives them a better chance at making our top 10 Every week. So this week, go to worldmusicstage.com to hear the greatest indie music around, the greatest indie music in the world, and to support your favorite indie artists. I'm Dave Pratt, and hey, if you don't deserve it, who does? Thanks for listening to the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Breaking the sound barrier with your top 10 weekly from worldmusicstage.com. Join us where indie music comes alive at worldmusicstage.com. That's worldmusicstage.com.